Hi Leo, my ascendant brothers and sisters, and welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Leo, this is for you. Remember their general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody. That is all right. You should use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week my dear Leos you have da, 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 the faith card. So this is actually the Hierophant card but in this deck it's called faith right. So in all of these different areas of life this week not only are you being, being encouraged to find your faith and to utilize that faith but you're also being asked to really consider what the structure of these different areas of your lives actually look like. I also forgot to mention if you are a continued subby you know Rafi loves you. If you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share and if you should so choose and it resonates hit the subscribe button and and also remember uh, here in the Radiant Nation, I talk about everything, the entire full spectrum of life. When it's good, I'm going to tell you. When it's bad, I'm going to tell you. Uh, and if you can't handle those kinds of heavy predictions, I do have to say to you, Radiant Reality is not the place for you. All right. With that said, uh, the Hierophant, right, in all of these different areas of life. So you got this with the Eight of Wands. Okay. Now, uh, you know, it's not so much a heavy prediction, but it is uh, a call out here. There's some kind of rigid belief system or idea or philosophy about, about life, maybe even about religion and spirituality. There's something this week that you need to work through. There's something that, and it's not about like, oh, just swallow it and get on with it. It's not that at all. This is instead of picking yourself apart, for something that you can't reconcile, look at the belief structure or system, where it came from, where it originates from, right? And ask yourself how this either is or isn't serving you at this moment in time. That Eight of Swords is about what you do, right? And the Eight of Swords is constriction and confinement. It's you keeping yourself effectively locked up or locked away in some regard. And with the Hierophant card, this is a rigid or locked in state uh, of belief, right? There's something that you, it's almost like you can't get past it or you refuse to get past it. In order for life to improve for you this week, Leo, you do need to get out of your own way. Uh, in terms of the options that are available to you, the Eight of Swords is always about being in it for the long haul. And so the message here is the option that is presented to you this week, it might be where it's like, you know, you get offered something, but you realize very quickly, okay, if I'm going to do this, I have to be about it and I really have to show up because the chances are you will be held to it and... If there's one thing we know about Leos, you guys don't like to lose face. So I will say it is possible that you could end up damaging your own reputation if you take something on board and then you pull out at the last minute. For your, so just be really sure about it. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. So this is you really weighing up your options this week, right? This actually came up for, uh, I think it was Cancer as well. And this same card, different deck, uh, same position. And this with the Hierophant card, this is uh, about your financial investments, absolutely, but it's also about your professional and academic pursuits as well. This is you asking the question, have I put enough in? Uh, you know, and everybody goes through imposter syndrome. We all ask ourselves, do I know enough? Do I da 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 da? I tell you even now. I know I'm proficient, but I still doubt myself with lots of stuff, especially like in the astrological realm. Tarot, not so much. Um, even numerology, right? I'm still a bit like, Ooh, but, you know, and I put my heart and soul into everything that I do, but there's that in the back of my mind. And then I have to remind myself like, no, bitch, you still good. You know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, so like, you know, so I am saying like, there's a, a chance here and maybe it's that belief system, 
right? And so this is where you get to challenge that parental system, is where you get to look at the family history and say, well, no, actually, whether you buy into or believe in what I do or whatever the case might be is irrelevant. I'm doing the work and the work is working, all right? When it comes to those of you that are um, studying or in some form of academia, this is a, if you have plans to go into study, it's going to be a big financial commitment. If you have plans for uh, buying or purchasing land or a property, it's going to be a big financial commitment, all right? Uh, if you are, for those of you that are um, employed by somebody else, this is you asking yourself if you can stay in the current job that you have much longer. There's a chance here that you, you really are asking this question. It's like, I'm ready for the change. I feel it come in. I want to be ahead of this, but, right? Well, obviously only you can make the decision that's right for you, but it's time to get rid of the but, all right? You are ready for change. It's time to make the leap. You are a lion. Now that you know what your prey is or looks like, you've got to leap after it. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is you really ready to dedicate yourself to a new body or a new system of work. And I actually really like this for you because it means that you are dedicated to getting the most out of something, even if it is going to be a long haul. Uh, love that, right? What an investment in the self. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, seven of pentacles with the eight of source that's the payment of a debt this is either the clearing of a debt paying the final payment uh, you've got this with the hierophant card so it could also be i'm sorry to say and i have to be honest with you the hierophant with the eight of swords and the seven of pentacles this could be where somebody comes to collect on a debt all right and so just keep that in mind or as a consideration for your uh money uh, sorry for your love and relations you've got the queen of swords so queen of swords is usually an air sign woman aquarius gemini libra for those of you that are single and looking an air sign could be very interested in you now, this with the Eight of Swords, this is an ongoing battle or challenge of some sort. And it's one that you're very close to seeing through to the end. But the Seven of Pentacles does suggest that there are new or more negotiations that will need to be considered here, likely on a financial level. When it comes to those of you that are partnered, married or in long term commitments, this is a collective negotiation about a financial matter, especially where it comes to work, profession. And it could also be because the Queen of Swords is about what we fight for. If you have children, this could be a battle of wills within your relationship about how you're going to raise the children, whether this is, you know, I don't want them in that denomination, I don't want them raised in the church, I don't want them raised pagan, I don't, whatever the case might be. There is a battle of wills here that will need to be considered. Um, and I've got to be honest with you, you know, it's not in my business, but um, if you have children, and they're of a certain age, even if they are sort of younger, kids are so much smarter than we give them credit for, right? Children have fought wars, uh, children have upheld countries, they have been rulers, they've been kings and queens, right, before now. So what I'm trying to say to you is, if you and your partner are at odds about how you're gonna raise them spiritually or religiously or whatever the case might be, Try talking to the kids about what they want, all right? Maybe you have to, you know, simplify the language a little bit. Maybe you have to, um, you know, reconsider. Whatever the case might be, get out of your feelings for a moment, right? Think about your belief structure and ask yourself, if it ain't really serving you, how is it going to serve them? right? I'm not out here to disrespect anybody or tell anybody. I don't have any kids, right? I'm not here to tell anybody how to run their families. What I am here to tell you is I remember being a young person. I remember having my agency stripped from me in several kind of ways. And one of them was to do with religion and spirituality and all the rest of it. And it didn't do me any favors. And I still ended up where I ended up anyway. So how about you give them, you know, whatever your faith is, don't shove it down their throats just because it's yours. Give them a chance to choose for themselves. For your money and materials, you have the 10 of wands. Okay, so look, I love this actually. 
because it kind of changes that meaning. So while there might be a few people that have a debt come to collect, this could literally be the releasing or the letting go of one, right? Because the Ten of Wands is in the money sector next to the Faith card. This could be like a financial, I don't want to say miracle, but it could be, right? Someone could come forward and say, look, you know what? We're going to forgive this debt or we're going to halve the debt or we're going to... There's something that comes through to ease or release a burden of a debt of some sort here. And I think this is going to be wonderful for you. Um, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this with the Hierophant card, um, it's really weird because in my mind, what I'm seeing is, you know, across your shoulders, if you go to the back where, you know, like that hump that we've all got at the back. I don't know why, but that seems to be coming up here. And a part of it is because the Ten of Wands rules the lower back, but the Hierophant card being Taurus ruled, it rules this part of the body. And so it feels like, you know, the point at which they do this, where you've got that sort of the big sort of protruding bump here, um, like that aspect, whether this is that you're, you know, literally like the figure, maybe you're lifting weights, doing squats or whatever. Be careful with that part because you might end up bruising it. Touch wood, I hope I'm wrong. When it comes to your home and environment, the Ten of Wands with the Hierophant, this is good news about the home that makes life easier. And it might be because somebody wants to step in and offer some kind of support. What this will rely on for you is getting out of an old ideology or thought system or belief and accepting that it can really be different. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.